Hey guys, welcome to Drew Brew. Today we're gonna do a little quick run of the replace face tool. It's one of my favorite tools, I use it all the time. Uh, so if you look, we have some shapes here and let's just get started. This is a shape that we're gonna be replacing the face with. Well, the easiest way is just to go to tools, replace face, you select the face you wanna replace and you select the face that you want to match. And that's pretty much it for the basics. There's also one more way to do it by selecting the face and clicking more and replace face on that on that front. So uh, it works the same way, just a different way to approach it. And now that you know how to do it, let's just move on and finish up these squares before we get to the complicated ones. All right, now that that's done, let's move on to how not to make multiple face replaces. Uh, see here I'm going to select one face, then the other face, and then what face I need. And no, I have to fix it, I have to go correct that and make that the target face. And here's the correct way. You select first the face you want to replace, then the face you want, then the other face, and another face, and whatever else face. And I will also show you a little issue that we're going to run into right now. Uh, as you can see, one of those faces did not end up as we wanted it to. So. What do we do to correct this? Let's go over that. Also, in this kind of case, selecting a different face usually does not solve the problem. As you can see, it also just deletes that wall. So what we need to do is we need to delete what's inside this cube so that we can make a simpler face that the program can allow. And the easiest way is just to chamfer it so that we can have a nice flat edge to work off of. Now, as your designs get progressively more uh, complex, you're gonna run into problems where you can't replace a face, and sometimes it's just easier to subtract. However, there is a method to get around this issue, and the way to do that is to simplify your shapes. So what we can do is, let's try to delete it first. No, it's not working. See, it's, this is a specific shape that I created just to show you. And can we do it with a fillet? No, we can't because it's a round shape. So what we need to do is we need to chain for that so we have that flat edge. And just for kicks, let's try to replace that face to see if it'll work. And no, I knew it would not. So what we need to do is subtract those two and simplify that edge and replace it now because now we have a simple edge that we can work with. And also that second piece so we can go with that. So sometimes it takes more than one to replace face to get the shape you wanted. Let's also not forget that replace face does have some unintended consequences sometimes. As you can see, this because it follows that edge, it takes up the whole space. We also sometimes will run into other unintended consequences. For example, when we've already replaced the face and we want a different face, but we can't do it until we simplify that face. <clears throat> That's a lot of faces. And as you can see, the new face always follows whatever format you had before. So you try to make that bigger, it just follows along. But there are always ways to fix it. One way is to mirror it. Another way is to subtract, another way is to extrude. Again, just think uh, simple shapes and then that will usually solve your problems. Just keep in mind this major detail that the more complex and complicated your shapes get, the harder they are to edit. So make sure you make duplicate files at major steps so that you never lose track of something that you may want to go back to because fixing it sometimes will make the app crash and you lost your progress. So just be careful with that. And as always, I hope you guys learned something. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video, share it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.